Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to build the ultimate 2021 mid-engine C8 Corvette Coupe and show you what 75K gets you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you saw there in the intro, I am going to uh, take you step by step through the process of building the ultimate 2021 C8 Corvette Coupe, not convertible, but Coupe. And I'm going to show you what right around 75K gets you. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do instead of building and pricing, which is right here, we're going to scroll down and we are going to actually show you how to design it first. So we're going to click on design yours. Okay. One of the first things we have to do is go to the body style, go to coupe and click on that, hit confirm. And we are to the coupe now. And then we can go up here to roof and turn the roof on. So it's on. There you go. Now my ultimate, 2021 C8, if I was to build one as a coupe, I would uh, pick Accelerate Yellow to start. Because that is one of my new favorite colors. I absolutely love it. Now, if you scroll over, you can pick, you know, the different types of roofs. I'm going to just stick with the normal uh, yellow roof. And we're going to go to Performance Wheels now. We're not going to pick the Z51 package. As you well know, I am against most people buying the z51 package now they've already got the carbon flash open spoke wheels picked those are the ones that i would pick to save money i'm not going to go over to the trident and pick those because those cost over two thousand dollars but i am going to go ahead and go with the bright red calipers so as you can see here you've got the beautiful red calipers that contrasts with the yellow perfectly and now we're going to go to exterior colors and we're gonna scroll over. Most of this stuff is Z51 information that you cannot load onto your car, but the first thing you can do is pick the red engine cover. If I had it all to do over, I would have picked the red engine cover. It would have gone perfect with my white car and my uh, Captain America wrap. As you can see there, it is absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm not gonna pick the engine appearance package. I think that's kind of a waste of money. You can put your own lighting in there for probably, you know, $20, $30. So I am not gonna go with that. Now the carbon fiber on the uh, engine appearance package is really, really nice. But again, uh, I think it's a little bit too much money for what you get. So we're gonna scroll over to the trim levels and pick the 2LT. As you saw in my last video, about the must-have options for your 2021. The 2LT is definitely one of those that I think is a must-have. You don't want to go 1LT. You probably don't want to go 3LT. The 2LT is the sweet spot. So we're going to go ahead and click on interior colors. Now, if I were to order a yellow car, I would have to go with the Sky Cool Gray setup and they've already got that picked for me, so that's perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and scroll over here, and the next thing that I would pick is the carbon fiber interior package. I had it in my 2015 Z06, and I'm gonna tell you right now, it is absolutely gorgeous. You get it over here on the uh, door, and you also get it up here on your dash, and then of course the driver's side, uh, you get it right here on the door as well. So it is gorgeous. It does make the car look that much more exotic. So I'm definitely going with that. So let's go ahead and go to the last option, which is the seats. And I've got the GT1 picked. I'm not going to pick suede or performance textile. I'm not going to pick two-tone. You have to go to GT2 to get the two-tone. However, I am going to pick a red seat belt because I think that'll go perfect with the red calipers. And if we scroll around here, you will see the red seat belts look awesome against the black and the cool sky gray seats. So that right there, if we go outside to the actual car, let's go to exterior. 
you will see here, this is exactly how I would build my car. It's absolutely gorgeous. Black wheels, red calipers. Um, now, you're not gonna see some of the accessories that I get until we go into actually building the car, but check it out. You look in the rear window and you've got the beautiful red engine cover. And you look in the front window and you've got the cool sky gray accents on the dash. And also looking in and seeing the seats and uh, everything just matching up perfectly with the red seat belts and the red calipers. So let's go ahead and move on to the next thing that I want to show you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and go back to the main page at Chevrolet.com. Go over to performance vehicles and oh my gosh, I absolutely love seeing the C8R in here. But uh, we're gonna go back to the C8. And just so you know, these prices are gonna have a discrepancy because they are gonna be 2020 C8 Corvette pricing. However, I'm gonna build it to exactly how I would build a 2021. And you will have to add 500 to $1,000 to that price at the end but it's still gonna be right around 75 to 76,000. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the coupe and we're gonna to move to the trim. And as you know, I say two LT is the way to go. So we are going to click on that. Now we're gonna move over to the colors and we're gonna go with the Accelerate Yellow for $500. We're gonna pass up the racing stripes and move straight into the Sky Cool Gray for the interior and go to the next packages. And as you know, I'm going to skip the Z51 performance package. I do not recommend that to, to most people buying this car. I also don't really recommend the engine appearance package as it costs a thousand dollars and you can do your own lighting in the rear for probably $30, $40. Control it with your phone and you'll be just as happy. The only thing you'll be missing is the carbon fiber, but I really don't believe it's worth the $1,000 for the carbon fiber. So skipping over that one also. Let's go to exterior. So we're gonna go ahead and pick the normal five-spoke carbon flash painted aluminum wheels. That gives your car a little more of aggressive look. It's got the same wheel pattern as the normal ones, but they are painted with carbon flash. So I really enjoy those wheels. Next, we're going to come down to the front lift with mem memory. And I think that's a must. Most people are gonna need that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. The other thing that we talked about earlier is the bright red painted calipers. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that and show you that they are now red. I absolutely love that. Now the next thing we're gonna get is the performance exhaust for $11.95. This is so that people can actually hear you when you're driving your C8 around. It's already quiet enough, but with this performance exhaust, performance exhaust, it will now sound like a Z51 Corvette. So let's go ahead and scroll down and we will get the next thing, which will be the Edge Red engine cover for $500. And as you will see, we're gonna be looking at a beautiful engine cover here as soon as we get to the right picture. There you go. Absolutely gorgeous edge red in engine cover. I think we're done in this section. We are, yes. Uh, the last thing is the Corvette Museum delivery. Again, I don't personally think it's worth $1,000, so I'm skipping over that. But Moving on, we're going to skip over the, the different types of seats. We're going to stick with the GT1, as I pointed out in my last video, uh, the must-haves for your 2021 Corvette. You don't need the GT2 seats. You certainly don't need the competition seats. But what I do believe you need is a torch red seat belt, which is another $500. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then the final piece that I think belongs inside this car is a carbon fiber interior trim and this is something that I don't have in my car but I kind of wish I did because again my 2015 Z06 had it and it was absolutely gorgeous so we're going to go ahead and click there now that is the last thing that I would highly recommend 
going with to build your ultimate 2021 C8 Corvette Coupe. And as you can see, the summary up here is looking at 74,465, which is right under 75. But again, when you add in the price increases for a couple of things for 2021, you're probably gonna be closer to 76. But if you think about it, that's what I paid for my car. I bought Z51 because I'm gonna take my car to the track. If you're not gonna take your car to the track, which most people aren't, you're gonna get a really loaded up 2LT non-Z51 C8 Corvette for less money or right around the same money that I paid for mine. So that's really it. We'll go ahead and go over here to the summary. I'm not gonna get any accessories. Some of you might click on these and get these, but I'm not gonna pay for any of these accessories. So the, uh, the end result is 74,465. So that's really gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot about what you probably should or should not get on your 2021 C8 Corvette. I kind of wanted to give you a more of a visual type video than just the must-haves video where I just showed my car and kind of just, you know, you had to use your imagination. Um, so this gives you a great visual of everything. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. If so, give me a big thumbs up. If you have not joined the Brink of Speed community, please consider subscribing by hitting that red subscribe button and bell notification so that you're notified when my new content comes out. I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you out on the road.